Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. Happy Sunday. It's Sunday, fun day. Not so much Italian Sunday fun day. I don't think so. Anyway, I'm not sure what I'm making for dinner tonight, but I'm going to be blogging today. I got some What's stuff. What's so to, fun about it? I got some stuff You're to doing do. Doing chores. I got some stuff to do in the kitchen. We're out. We had to go um, get Cooper's medicine, and then we stopped at the um, at the stand, the farm stand, and I'll show you what I what I picked up there. We needed a couple things, um, but um, we're we just put a, a pizza in the oven for lunch, and waiting for that to be done. And in the meantime, I'm going to start emptying my refrigerator. I got to straighten out my refrigerator, guys. Cause it's the point where I don't know what's in there. Like I, you, you, you don't even I don't even know what I have. I, I got to assess what I have. What I what I have to use up, what I have to make, you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, so I'll be back in one second. All right, guys. So I did some of the refrigerator, got on a little bit of a tear with it. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna stop now and have a piece of pizza. I wrote it. Uh, okay, and then um, I'll show you what I'm doing. Here. here we go, guys. Tony's. Tony's. Um, combination. Got the peppers, the sauces, the onions. All right. So good. Tony's is so good. Love Tony's pizza. Cheap, too. Only $5. Um, all me fix you. So... Here's what I got so far. Straightened out some stuff in this drawer, this little um, container here. I got turkey, I got salami, I got pepperoni. And that one here, I got a little ham back there. Bologna. And then this one right here, I got cheeses. Um, got more pepperoni here. So, I have to assess what I have so I know what to utilize, you know? Because if I don't know what's in here, then I don't know what I have to make, you know? Gotta make like a meal plan in my head. I don't really write a meal plan down, but I do it in my head. So, um, leftover Chinese food still. I have that tomorrow. Um, I got three of the Philadelphia cream cheese because I bought it a couple of weeks ago and planned on. Um, There was a couple of recipes I wanted to make that I didn't make. So. I got one on the shelf here. Tony's is so good. Let me put extra cheese on it, of course. So I got to show you when I got the farm today. The farm stand. I'll show you that. Let me get some of this stuff emptied out. All right, guys. So I'm going to wipe out the shelves. Okay. We need a new refrigerator desperately. We've had this one about 10 years and it's just falling apart slowly. Um, I don't know. Eventually. I'll have to save up, but. And I don't, 
I really would rather have, I want the, the freeze, the refrigerator on top and then the freezer on the bottom. That's what I, I would like to get. Eventually. There's no bottom drawer. Well, there is, but it's broken. Um, it's just, I just don't like the way this refrigerator is set up. It was a good refrigerator, don't get me wrong. see on the bottom guys see the drawer it broke right here you can't see it see that little crack there right by the where the where the pin the pens are insulin pens oh zip it try to wipe it out every couple of weeks you know All right. You watching the game, the football game, not the Yankee game? Yankees uh, are um, All right, so I gotta do the draw yet, but first I'm gonna put the other stuff back in and then I'll do the draw. I, I get overwhelmed. All right, guys, so what I'm doing is I'm just taking, I have two mayonnaises in there because you know, we can't find the, the other one in the refrigerator, so then we open up a new one and this is what happens. So I'm just going to put these in. There's a little bit in here. So I'm just going to put this in this one. This way to save some room. Um, so Julie is moving in next weekend. And um, we're going to have to definitely utilize the downstairs refrigerator more than we probably ever did because you know they'll have some stuff that they want or whatever and uh, I have to um, I have to uh, put some stuff down there that I don't use every day yeah is it a pain to go down there yeah it is but there's no other choice really they could put a lot of their stuff down there, too, if they, if they want. Me and Julie are going to, like, go shop, food shopping together and, you know, do some shopping together. And then, like I said, whatever stuff she wants, she's going to have her little baker's rack in her living room upstairs. And so she'll be able to uh, get any snacks or she can get whatever she, you know, she could put it down here, whatever, whatever she wants to do. But that's, that's, that's her plan. And I think she might end up getting like a little tiny refrigerator just to keep some drinks up there or something because they're basically going to be treating it like it's like it's a little apartment because it is two rooms. I'll take you up there at some point and show you. It's all emptied out now and um, just Jenny, you know, it's a little hard for Jennifer. I told her that Julie was moving in, but I really didn't tell her about the room yet because the first thing she said was, I hope they're not taking my room. She's not good with change and everything. So what I'm going to tell her to ease her. And I, I saved all, all her stuff. She's gonna, she has all her stuff, you know. It, it's difficult. So I'm going to tell her that Julie's borrowing the room for a little while. And when Julie moves out, then it'll be her room again. Which we could do that again. So it's not a big deal. But if that's what happens, you know. Cause, um, but like I said, our plan, is not, our plan is not to stay here forever. Our plan is eventually, whenever that's going to be to get a house together. So that, that's up there, guys. But anyway. Did 
this thing has to be washed out. I have to soak this. I'm so good. It's not water. It needs to be. Um, all right, so I'm still doing the refrigerator. Not finished with that. Um, Belle, you, you, why did you take the other garlic when, oh, because the other one comes out too, too fast? Why did you take the other garlic and not the one that was on the thing? Yeah. So I got, I went to, you know, I always think I don't have sour cream, and then I come home and I find I have three sour creams. So I got two sour creams that are open. So let me see, is this one open? No, this one's closed. And this one is, is this one open or closed? Oh, this one is open too. So I got three that are open. Let's see if we can fit it all in this in this one. I'm listening to my music, guys. When I um, when I pause, you guys, I listen to my music and then I put it back on, and then I shut it off, and then I put it back on, and I shut it off. Let's combine these. So I make sure that uh, they're still good because I don't want to put bad and good. There's no expiration date. It smells fun. Um, Jever, uh, I remember when we lived in Florida. Julie, um, was using the t taking out sour cream, and I said to her, she said, oh, Mom, there's all water in it. And I said, oh, just dip it over on the, in the sink and let the water come out. So she put the whole thing in the sink, didn't realize what she was going to have to do it. I just told her to do it. And so she turned the whole thing over, and the whole sour cream fell right in the sink. It was so funny. So now she knows. <laughs> yeah, so when you, you got to be careful because the sour cream will come flying out sometimes when you turn it over. And there went our sour cream. <laughs> her reaction was the cutest thing. She was young. Maybe she was 13, 14, I don't know. But, so, don't want to waste anything. Oh, wait, is this one? Yeah, I don't know if I could fit all of this in here. Let's see. I think we can fit all of this in here. <gasps> I can't believe I just that that's typical of me. I thought that was plastic. That is typical. <laughs> Landed on the top. So it's on the floor, though. It's got on the floor. Alright. That's it. I think that's, that's about all it's gonna. There's a, there's, there's a drop left, so that's from the garbage. So, guys. I, I don't know if you guys, well, if you're new here, new, really new, you won't know. You might know. But um, I am a, um, I am a, I don't think this is going to work. I'm a little house on the prairie freak. Love little house on the prairie. So last night, I was talking to my son. And I watch, I have Peacock on my um, iPad because I watch um, The Chosen. I watch some stuff on there. And, um, and that's going to be rough. And um, what's, what's going on?
going on with this back to the mama thing? Making a big mess, guys. Alright, well, that's all I can do. Um, anyway, so I was, I was, I didn't feel good last night. I don't know what it was. I just didn't feel good. And I think it's because, um, what happened was Jenny went to the doctor. I told you guys, she didn't have, she doesn't have COVID. She doesn't have the flu or anything. But I think there was like a virus going around in her house because a couple of the other girls didn't feel good. And yesterday, all of a sudden in the evening, I just felt like crap. Like I felt like I had something. So I really didn't feel well. So I was kind of um, just hanging out, relaxing and reading my book and just doing a little bit of lounging on the couch. And I slept a little bit on the couch, probably about a half hour, and I felt a little bit better after I got up. So I was like, oh, I'm going to color. So I got my coloring stuff out, and then my husband was watching something on his, you know, on the television. He always asked me before he puts anything on himself, what do you, what do you want to watch? Do you want to watch it together? And most of the time, 90% of the time, I don't. You know, I want to do my own thing. You know, sometimes. Jenny's calling. I'll be right back. All right, guys. This is what I'm going to do, okay? This is why I wanted to go through the refrigerator, because I don't know what I have. I have four stuffed peppers left over. Look, four stuffed peppers. I have meatloaf left over. I'm going to wrap these in twos. I'm going to um, wrap them good, put them in the freezer, label them, and have them in the freezer for when I want them. I'm not wasting these. There's just no way. So let's do one. We're going to wrap one. We'll wrap them individually, but let me show you. Because these are good. I did that a couple of months ago. I had, remember, Bill, I had those um, stuffed peppers in the freezer and we ate them. They, I, I think I ate them. Yeah. They were so good. Because, you know, when I make something, if I'm making stuffed peppers, I mean, I'm not going to make two stuffed peppers. I'll make four or five, and then, you know, but now the thing is, is that Julie and Darren will be here, so, you know, I'll be making the stuff that obviously they eat and, you know, try not to have leftovers. Try to make it, as, you know, but whatever leftovers I do have, I'm making a point to really utilize them because that's the way you save money and your budget. Really, that's how you budget. These came out so good. And I can even take one of these out and just make it for lunch. You know what I mean? Just heat it up, put it in the in the air fryer for lunch. Yummo. Got my own frozen food. Don't need to buy it and have all that processed shit and stuff in there, you know? What I need to get is a good Sharpie because for some reason all the Sharpies I have, and they're good Sharpies, I don't, I don't understand why they, um, sometimes they come off of the thing. So I like to put like a little piece of um, tape and like a piece of little paper, or I have those little stickers, those stick-on things. That's what I'm probably gonna use for the bags because otherwise then I don't know what it is, I'm confused and that's the whole thing. I have to label things so I know what it is because if you can't identify it, you're not gonna wanna eat it. You know what I mean? All right, so that's done. That's good. That makes me feel good. Let's, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it in one big Ziploc bag and write on and, and put a sticker on it. Let me, let me go in the back and get the sticker. Get the stickers. All right, people. So I have these. Okay. 
these are little stickers, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, stuff. Stuff peps. And it is nine. 16 or 15 stuffed peppers as long as it stays last time I noticed when I had these I had to put tape on them but these are newer so I think they're okay Yeah, I don't trust it, so I'm going to put a piece of little tape over it, just because I don't trust it. It's not a tree. All right, stuffed peppers, 9, 16, or 15, whatever the day is. And there we go. There we go. All right, let's um, let's do the meatloaf now. Now the meatloaf, I'm gonna do a little different. I'm gonna slice it. Um. The meatloaf. Um. Let's see. I mean, it basically is sliced okay. So good, guys. Mm. It's good. Who don't want to take it out? I could um, do what I want. I'm slice it. This is even be good for a meal for me and Bill. Literally. Because we're the only ones who eat it. Except if Jenny's here. And Darren eats it, but... so good, even cold, even cold, mm. yum, oh, I'm gonna put it in here. Let's put a sticker. Meatloaf. Put a little piece of tape just to be safe. My hand, my hands are a little sticky. All right. There we go.
meatloaf. When did Jenny eat over? Um, was it fr Thursday? She was over on Thursday, yeah. Friday, today, Sunday? Um, because I have string beans and broccoli with cheese. I think it's still good, so I can probably make that. I'll use it. If I can use that in the next day or two, I'll save that. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's broccoli and cheese and string beans. All right, guys. So here's the rest of the stuff. I'm going to show you what I got at the farm today, at the farm stand. Put this over here. This over there. One second. All right, I got, there was two farms actually. The first one I went to is one I always go to. They didn't have any more corn. They weren't gonna have it for another two weeks. So we went to the other um, the other one down the street from that one. And I got corn, but I'll tell you. So at the first farm, I got beans. I got string beans and there's a new bean. Well, I don't know what's new, but I saw them and I'm like, what are these? And she's like, they're dragon tongue beans. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. She said, they're amazing. She goes, I've been snacking on them all morning. They're juicy and they're delicious. Dragon tongue beans. I tasted them. They're amazing. I don't know why they're called tongue. I don't want to know. I mean, they're, st they're string beans growing out of the ground, so I'm sure there's no tongue in them. Anyway, <laughs> so I got string beans and some dragon beans. I'm going to have these for the week. I was eating them raw in the car, guys. Love them. Love fresh string beans. You know that. Um, I got two tomatoes, just two, because I do have some tomatoes in there, uh, like two or three that need to be eaten. So, um, Frankie wanted tomatoes yeah. too, so we'll eat those first, but I only got two because the farm is right down the street from me. They're open till January. I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy all the, my produce that they have. I'm going to buy the farm until, until they're, they're, they're gone. I got a red onion. That was from the first farm. The second farm I went to, I needed another head of lettuce because Frankie wanted lettuce and I looked and they had one. So I got grabbed another small head of iceberg. I was in the mood for celery. I love celery. I go through phases with it. Cook with it or eat it raw with cream cheese and, you know, salt, a little salt, whatever. So I got a fresh thing of, of um, celery. I also got um, six. What did I get? Six corn or eight corn? Ooh. I think I got eight corn. They were a little pricey at this farm. They were 75 cents a corn. So an ear, which yeah, was not yeah. really, it was kind of high, but... Um, I'm gonna get, I got them because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, freeze them. I have three in the freezer already. I'm gonna do another six, I mean another eight. And then, um, and then, um, probably in two weeks when they, when the other place has the corn, I'm gonna go back and get like six or eight more and then freeze those and that'll be it. Just want to have a little bit for the, for the winter, the fall and the winter. I could cook, cut them off the kernel. You know, cut them off the kernels off and eat them as, as corn or eat them as corn on the cob. So good, guys. Supposedly, they say to freeze them either in the, you can freeze them in the husk or you can take them out and blanch them. The ones that I have, I blanched and stuck in the freezer and there, and they were chuck, chuck. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. I'll see. The lady said she doesn't really know. She was doing experiments to do it out of the husk and in the husk, and she was, she was going to see which one that would come out better. So I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to put this stuff away. I've got to be careful with produce because I'm really the only one in this house. Frankie eats a little bit of produce. Julie will eat more produce, so that'll be good. But i got to be careful with produce because it goes bad. If I don't, if I'm not, um, if I'm not focused on it and tolerant with it, it can go bad. But I, I notice that when you get the stuff, like if I get it from Aldi, like I'm going to show you something. Wait a second. I'm going to show you. I got zucchini from Aldi hey. the other day. So here's peppers. I got a little pepper here that I got from the farm that I really got to use that because that's soft. 
You coming in here? Oh. I thought, oh, that, I thought that was Frankie. Because I'm taping, I thought it was Frank. Um, so I got a little bit of grapes, like I told you. I got a red onion and, um, oh, oh no, this is, um, oh yeah, here's the lettuce. So I got two heads of lettuce now. Um, and, what are you doing, buddy? Where'd he go? Um, some grapes. I didn't wash these yet. I gotta wash them. The onion will go in the back with the other onions. And here's cabbage. And we're gonna make fried cabbage. And I have some flounder here. What are we gonna do with that? It's, it was frozen already. Uh, I gotta do something with this flounder. Otherwise, it's gonna go bad. I got these. I'm gonna put them away in the back. And cheese. Um, I want to show you something. So I bought these at Aldi. I don't know when did I shop at Aldi? Like two weeks ago. Ah, Linda, Linda, Linda. And I knew they were in there. I just. So I got zucchini here. They're a little slimy. This one is kind of bad here. I'm gonna cut them and see what they look like. See if I could salvage them. Maybe I could freeze them, slice them and freeze them and put them in a soup or something. You know what I mean? Just not to waste them. This thing I'll put in the back. Uh, so. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? You saying hi to everybody? He has a cool bee butt. Poopy butt. The only thing I didn't tackle, and I'm not gonna really tackle right now, is this Gotsi the door. Ugh. Guys, are you are you are, am I the only one who has so many condiments? I don't even know where to begin with them. I don't even know where to begin with the condiments. There's so many of them. And you know, it's the type of thing where you have a little bit of this in here, a little bit of that. It's just too much. Like, I have a refrigerator downstairs, and I'm just going to have to put some stuff downstairs because it's just too, it's too overwhelming. It really is too overwhelming. Um, all right, so this is my fridge. I'll show you. All done and organized. You see? And it's it's organized, and my son will open up the refrigerator, and he'll say, oh, my God, Mom, this refrigerator is crazy. It, there is a lot of stuff in here, but what are you supposed to do? You got waters. My husband keeps some waters up there. I think we're going to put some of those waters downstairs. That's, that's what I think we're going to do because he doesn't need all those waters right now. So I think that's what we're going to do. But this is the refrigerator. What? What, what, you got? what do you got there, boy? Look what he's doing. That pillow we brought downstairs. Look, look, he thinks it's a toy. No, take that away. That's not a toy. You got your own toys, buddy. That is not a toy. But you're so cute. You, you're so cute. No matter what you do, you're such a cute. Like, what's this thing doing in my chair? You're such a cute. Yeah, he takes it off the chair and then he, he you know, lays on the chair. All right. So, guys, that's it today. Um, Right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video, put it up. And then I'll do a what's for dinner because it's two o'clock. I got dishes to do yet. I got stuff to situate yet. And I'm tired. So I really don't feel that great. So I'm just gonna go and veg a little bit. I'm gonna do some of this veg. And then um, I will be back later with my what's for dinner. All right, guys. I hope you're having a heartful day. Heart, heart, heartful day. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this organizing my kitchen refrigerator with me. I got a lot more to do. There's a lot more that we're gonna, I'm going to videos I'm going to do. You guys know it. So get ready for the fall. Get ready for everything. It's going to be a busy couple of months, guys. I'm very, very excited. I love this time of year. My favorite time of year. So I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Don't forget to hit that um, subscribers button because when you subscribe, it really does help my channel grow, and I so appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that notification button with that bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share and comment down below. And let me ask you a question quick before I go, before we go. These tomatoes, right? They they, they never got red. They they're just green. I put them outside. They don't they don't they're not turning red. What can I do with these? Are these considered like are these considered 
green tomatoes. Like, so I can do fried green tomatoes with these, right? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Comment down below if you have any ideas about what to do with these. I mean, I, I'm sure I could slice them and, you know, maybe, and, and even cook them down and put them in the freezer and use them for crushed tomatoes, or I don't know. But comment down below if you have an idea, okay? I'm sure somebody does, I'm sure somebody does. And the zucchini I gotta take care of. I'll, I'll show you, I'll tell, talk about that later when we come back um, for the what's for dinner. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming into my kitchen with me and creating and cleaning up and organizing. I hope this, this motivates you guys to get in your kitchen and do some organizing because that's what it's about. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.